Hi everybody, it's me, Mr. Steve. A uh, bit of a different video than the normal ones that I do. We, we've spent all day, as a family, we've spent all day out. You just saw Mrs. Mr. Steve's elbow in the video. That is more than she has been in any of the videos so far, so... <gasps> That's not unusual. That was a finger. Those were those were phalanges. So we spent all day just going out. We went to a Target. There's not a Target in our town. That was a real big deal. Uh, my wife made me a new mask. Do you want to see it? It's wonderful, and I love it. Um, having long hair makes this difficult. There you go. So. Uh, this is my new mask. Do you like it? I think it makes me look like a uh, Dora the Explorer duck. I like it because it's a face mask and you know it's got these things on here that make sure it's nice and sealed tight but also because it's sticking out so much it's not touching my face and I, I love that because when I'm wearing a regular mask and I take that off, I just spend 45 minutes scratching my facial hair. So now it's not you touching my facial hair. And so I'm really excited about that. So I was trying to think, you know, we just got home and I was trying to think of what to do for a video. Should I do a story time? I, I, my wife's is even bigger. Can I see your mask? Look at this. Beautiful bonnet. <laughs> this is even bigger see i like my wife's and i'll tell you why i like my wife's because she can fit like two pudding cups in here and just walk around her day and she's and someone asks her do you need help finding anything nope i'm fine but i like mine because i can fit like an entire taco bell hard shell taco in here and just be chomping down you know chomping down so so, so we have a cat. Uh, her name is Eris. E R I S. E R I S. E R I S. Okay, okay. And the other day, Eris was on top of my table here and uh, playing with all of our masks. And I was like, Eris, don't play with the face mask. Yeah, give me the mask back. So she just grabbed my face mask in her mouth and ran off. So my wife made Eris. No. Okay. It was a failed attempt at a mask that Amber wanted. It was a failed attempt at a mask so that one of our other of daughters wanted. Waste. So instead of letting it go to waste, she's given it to the cat. And now... Oh, you're not going to do it now that I'm filming you, Eris. How oh, dare you. You have ruined my YouTube channel. <laughs> so we've she given Eris... She like it when I yeah. on her face. We've given Eris her own mask to play with, and she loves it. So... So there's that. So, I was trying to think of something uh, different to do other than telling you about my new mask <laughs> and showing off my cat. And I think I figured it out. Uh, so, tomorrow on the channel... Oh, now she's playing with it? Well. Okay, that's fine. Tomorrow on the YouTube channel, we're going to do another video, a big one. It's going to take a long time to edit. But uh, having fun with Zoom... Because uh, cousin Jaden was over, and and the three youngest kids were playing around with Zoom and the green screen, which is why that's still up. So they had a lot of fun with that. So I'm going to be editing that into a thing, and that's tomorrow. But the day after that, I'm going to do a story time, and I want to know from you guys what you think Mr. Steve should do for his next story time. I picked four books, and it's entirely up to you guys. Which book I read. Here are the four choices. Number one, Marvel's Black Widow. This is, it's, there it is. This is Black Widow, is the name of the book. 
It is a kid's beginning reader book based on the Marvel character Black Widow, not the upcoming movie Black Widow. But it does feature the character of Black Widow's sister, Yelena. Please don't howl like a wolf while I'm trying to do the story. Thank you. It does feature Black Widow's sister, Yelena, who does have a big part in the upcoming Black Widow movie. And I don't mean to be uh, impartial in any way, but Yelena is played by, in the movie, Black Widow by actress Florence Pugh, who played the lead in the movie Midsommar, which is my favorite movie of all time, but you don't have to pick that one. I got three other books, okay? This is a book that I bought for $1, and I may have paid too much. It is a book that was created to promote a series of toys from the early 90s called Balzac. You remember Balzac Balls? Probably not. But anyway, this is a, a, a horribly written and ridiculously illustrated book called Mary and the Magic Ball. And I've been waiting to do this one because this is, this is like a horrible kid's book. And I love bad things. So, Mary and the Magic Ball, your second choice. Your third choice right here, this is called Be Kind. And, and that's an important lesson that we should all know right now. We should all be kind. And this fourth one was given to me by my daughter, Amber. Back in the day, you used to be able to get kids' books at the supermarket. And this is one of those books, Walt Disney's Dumbo at Bat. And I looked through it. There are no racist crows in this. So, score. So, those are the four books. Dumbo at Bat, Be Kind, Mary and the Magic Ball, and I Am, This is Black Widow. Those are your four choices. There is a poll up right now on Mr. Steve's Twitter account, which is... I don't remember. I am really not a professional. Twitter... Dot com slash MR Steve Stories, S T O R I E S. The poll is up right now, and it is up to you guys to decide what book Mr. Steve should read for his next story time. The poll will be up until 8 p.m. Central Time tomorrow. So that's August 4th. So. Tuesday, you have until Tuesday, August 4th at 8 p.m. Central Time to vote on what will be the next story time video I do. So, the polls are up. Already, I just put the poll up just about 10 minutes ago, and already there's one vote for Be Kind, so Be Kind is in the lead. Do you want to learn about Black Widow's sister, the May Queen from Midsommar? Do you want to read the worst book of all time, the Tommy Wiseau of kids' books, the Troll 2 of kids' books, the Manos, the Hands of Fate of kids' books? Do you, are, do you agree that Be Kind should be the next one? Or do you want to read a really old Dumbo story? It is up to you. So go to twitter.com slash Stories and vote now. And be sure and check out this channel to see upcoming videos and to see what, what book was chosen. Thank you, kids, for talking during the last four minutes of this video. really shows that you care. Okay, we'll see you later, guys. Bye!